Okay, devs. Um, I'm doing a little this little video to show you how you can take Visual Studio Code. Well, take the same set, uh, template system that you use in Sublime Text and use it in Visual Studio Code. So, say for instance you're a WordPress developer and you have a snippet where you know you want to unkey your uh, your script. So, like this this register script script. So in Sublime Text, you have a snippet system where you can just start to type, uh, I'm gonna stay in this file. You can start to type register script. Uh, so there's the register scripts. So with that, you have your register scripts just by starting to you know type the word and you know you hit your return or you can on cue on cue scripts. And with that, you know, you all queue a script. So, or you can register a style. So, uh, register, or register uh, sidebars or whatever. So, you register a sidebar. Here's a sidebar. Boom. You know. So, all of this is, is available because we're all used to doing uh, snippets with Sublime Text. So, here are all my user snippets that I have. And Sublime Text that I've created. And as you can see, they're separated into separate files, and you know, pretty cool. You know, you have your actual snippet, you know, and then you have the 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 command that you type, and then the file that it should go in. So you have all that. Um, so what I want to do is I want to show you how in Visual Studio Code, say for instance, you have a snippet that allows you to um, set image sizes so um, like in this right here you have this where you want to go ahead and you want to set the image size and so in the WordPress uh, or you want to add a new image size, register a new image size so in WordPress in the codex you have this add image size so I have this actually as a snippet you know so um, if I start to type uh, add, add image size right there, boom, then it, you know, the, the template, you know, starts to come in. So, or uh, I think it's set image size, image size, something. Or say, for instance, you want to say the content. See, I have it all short, so I got the content right there. Boom. So, what I want to do is I want to show you how to do that. So probably one of the functions that I use the most, more than anything, is this one right here, the field or get field for advanced custom fields. So this is something that I use commonly if get field, the field, else, whatever, whatever. So let's go ahead and use this as an example. So let me go ahead and cut this and let's go to the snippet that actually does that. So it's the git field uh, snippet and it is located right, um, right here. So here's a snippet, here's the command, here's the, well, even though it's supposed to be PHP, change that HP. so let's go ahead and let's copy this right here and so now let's go into Visual Studio Code so in order to work have this work in Visual Studio Code um, on the Mac you have to con hit command shift P on the Windows you hit or Windows and you can go until you hit control shift P and then uh, oh I'm sorry no you don't what you do is you go over to preferences and you go to uh, user snippets. So, um, and it's the same thing on the Windows machine. Just go over to preferences and then to user snippets. And, um, and hold on, let me see if you can do command shift P. You should still be able to do user, no. Let's see, snippets. So yeah, you can still get to snippets by just typing in snippets 
And so then what we want to do is we want to go come down here to PHP. And I already have some snippets in here. But um, when you go here, it gives you an example of how to set the snippets and description and all that. And I set a couple. So remember, this is JSON. So because it's JSON, you got the first opening and closing brackets right here. Um, here's the closing brackets. And so after every snippet, you have to put a comma. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the last sketch, uh, snippet I had. And I'm going to copy it all the way up to the comma. Copy. And then I'm going to paste. So now I have the snippet, the new snippet that I'm going to use. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the snippet a name. So I'm going to say uh, this is the get field. I'm just going to say get field. Get field. And then you want the prefix. So I want get underscore field. And this is this is the actual command when you start typing on the on keyboard. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get that snippet. So let's go get that snippet. Copy this. Come back here. And so now what I want to do is I want to paste the snippet in the body of the of the uh, what's the name? So there and it needs to be between uh, two uh, double quotes. It has to be between double quotes. And so now I have that. And the only thing that's different from sublime text that um, it is here that in other editors is that the variables don't start with zero. They start with uh, one, two, the tab or the tab prefix, uh, the tab stops, start with one, two, and then so on. If you want to put variables like I have down here uh, for add image sizes, I have the image name, the width, the height, and I, I have a Boolean value right here um, is how I'm doing it right there that you can, you can, you could do it, do it like that, or you know, or you could say true or false or whatever. Um, actually, that's what I'll do with this one. I'll say true slash false. So down here with um, again, add image. I mean, um, not add image. Uh, get field. I want to change these both to be. I want to change these both to be uh, one so because they're going to be the same thing so they're going to be the you know so now that I have that and the get field function is if we go to or method if we go to advanced custom fields ACF come on I just freezing up on me okay so ACF Get field. So we want the get field function here. And all I just want to do is just uh, return the value of a specific field. So I just want to get this description right here. So boom, then come back over here and give it a description. Okay, so now that I have saved that, now what I can do is I can open up a PHP file and see if it works. So let's open this up in the side right here that's side by side and start typing git field. Git underscore field and there it is right here. Type it and then boom, I got everything. So that's this easy way to add your snippets in Visual Studio Code. I've been a real lover of Visual Studio Code because I'm getting into Angular JS and um, uh, I think you know um, because of TypeScript and its translation to JavaScript um, you really should switch from uh, Visual, I mean, uh, sublime text to Visual Studio Code. I know that for a lot of you guys, hey, I know that sounds crazy, but hey, um, Visual Studio Code is really doing it. So um, thank you and uh, hope you like this video.